So today, we really saw Shakira get really passionate and excited about your performance. How does that feel when she's coaching you like that? It's pretty awesome. I mean, she has always been so genuine and very heartfelt with everything she says, and she gets really into coaching, and, and you know, and she wants to see me do well, and she picks apart the song and tells me like where, where to do what and and what to really drive home on, and so it's really cool to see her, you know, give me a standing O at the end of it because it's like, yeah, it worked, you know, like everything we talked about kind of came together. That's great, and. How did it feel singing a song that was originally sang by a guy? You haven't done that yet and you come on and that's like a little nerve wracking and there's pressure and they're already calling you the mold, you know, you're breaking mold on the show and so how does that feel like doing it again? It's pretty awesome to be able to take on such a song, you know, written with such tremendous words. I mean, that is, story is amazing. And um, But then having Lee Bryce be the one to blow this one up and, and take number one last year for a song and having to, to take the stage, it's a lot to fill, you know, big shoes to fill for me. But um, I was really happy with that opportunity to do so. And we have a few fan questions. So what is your most embarrassing moment on stage ever? Oh. Um, during rehearsals, there's been times where I've tripped and like almost totally fallen over because there was like a little height difference on the on the platforms. So uh, there's, that's one. But at least it hasn't happened like on the live shows. Yet. Yeah, on TV. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's got to be scary. That happened to Beyonce once. So yeah, no, if Beyonce can happen. live through it, you, <laughs> you can do can. it. Yeah. Awesome. And then we have a question from Beamly, and they wanted to know which song you're going to be singing next week. Ooh, if you keep. I can't give that away, but I do want to do something that's a little more upbeat if I can make it to next week because uh, I love to have fun on stage and kind of move around a little. I don't always want to make people cry. <laughs> what was the first song that you ever performed? First song I can remember performing was like my first solo in first grade and it was like a <laughs> Peter Pan song and I was the most awkward little kid with my hands in my pocket rocking back and forth on my, my feet and it was yeah. my mom was in the audience going, take your hands out of your pocket. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you think about your mom doing that still today, if you ever put your hands in your pocket on stage? Yes, I do. <laughs> I always remember to try to kind of like put my shoulders back. <laughs> That's awesome. And then do you have any pre-show rituals? Uh, I pace a lot. I get so nervous, I just walk back and forth a ton. Um, but I also have a wishing stone that I kind of wish on, my best friend gave me, and uh, a prayer card for my other friend's Nana, who recently passed, and I kind of talked to her before I go on. Oh, I love it. That's so sweet. Well, thank you so much, Kristen. Thank Good you. luck. I appreciate that. Yeah.